So Facebook just open sourced another JavaScript engine that they named as Hermes. And Hermes is a JavaScript engine specifically tailored for running with mobile applications. That is primarily with React Native on Android because on iOS, you are forced to use WebKit. So what this is eventually is that instead of using the stock JavaScript engine now on Android devices, Facebook now ships could allow you to use Hermes, which is a much more optimized, I would say a lot more optimized than the previous implementations and is very small in bundle size as well. So what we could see right now is if I just go ahead into my terminal and I'm just going to show you how you can migrate to Hermes right now with your React Native code base. I'm going to go into code damn app and I'm going to go into Android and let me just zoom in here real quick so that I, I could show you guys Android app or rather build not really build I guess we have to go into app build outputs AP case and release I'm going to see that Right now, the app size is roughly around 8.5 megabytes before using Hermes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the code base and I'm going to start migrating Hermes to uh, start market migrating Android to Hermes. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to go ahead and open build.cradle inside Android app. And what we want to do here is eventually just go ahead and inside project.ext.react what we want to do is right here we want to say enable hermes h-e-r-m-e-s and set it to true right also what you want to do is you want to upgrade your react native version so you need to be on react native 0 0.60 or um, after that and once you are after that make sure you are at least on 0.60.2 and I have seen that 0.60.3 is also there so I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade to that so I'm just gonna go ahead do that through command line so I'm gonna say npm install react native 0.60.3 and save but I have a video a dedicated video on how to get to react native 0.60 so you can just go ahead and watch that but for now we're just gonna upgrade to 0.60.3 all right so once you do that you're gonna see that you are on react native 0.60.3 but we need a couple of more changes here we could upgrade our fable core as well it's running way too um, early now we could make use of 7.5.4 as the official log says and runtime table runtime let's see if we got that and this would be 7.5.4 as well and i'm just gonna upgrade my metro react native table preset to 0 0.55.0 right so once we do that i'm just gonna run npm install one more time and that should take care of that meanwhile what we have to do is after this enable Hermes to true, we need to do a bunch of more changes, starting off with writing some packaging options inside the Android directive. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to copy and paste that stuff. So once you're inside Android, just write this packaging options right here. Once you do that, I'm gonna change this thing which we did. Um, last time when we were upgrading to 0 0.60 and i'm gonna paste this right here right so this enables hermes for us right and i'm just gonna throw in this particular variable here as well all right so that is pretty much it so once you do that you're gonna see that Hermes should work out of the box and right here it just says us that we should just go ahead and import the 
Hermes package as well here but I'm not really sure why if that's the case but anyway we can just go ahead and do that so once you do that what you need to do is hop back to your terminal go to Android and clear the build that is clean the build using cradle w right so let's just wait for that and if you followed me you're gonna end up with this error so i just missed one line here and that i'll just go ahead and paste it right here there we go and i'm gonna say enable hermes to true because we want to opt into this and we should be good to go but now this time I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want to clean as well as assemble the release build. So let's wait for that. All right. So once it's built, you could go into the build folder, not really build app, then build outputs, APK and release. Now, if we take a look at the sizes now, you're going to see we get a nice size of 6.8 megabytes and 7.3 for the arm and x86 architectures and you could see that's roughly a two megabytes decrease in a small apk relatively small apk i would say uh my apk size was not a lot earlier as well but as you add packages and stuff you're gonna get a drastic reduce in size because these apks now do not have javascript as bundled they have the bytecode that is the processed the already processed javascript included in included in them so you're not gonna find any .js file if you try to unpack this because now with the new javascript engine it processes the javascript file as well first of all and then the bytecode which is which is generated is bundled so that's a drastic reduction in size and plus the hermes javascript engine is small within itself as well so when you're shipping that javascript engine you get a very small footprint on the size moreover the load times and the general performance of the apks would be much much faster with this optimized javascript engine so i would say that's a, a you know a no-brainer step you have to take if you're using react native upgrade to react native 0.60.3 and get started with the new javascript engine all the useful links you want would be in the description so you can go ahead and check them out so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one